Welcome back everyone. It's 7.53 Holiday Tamale Tuesday. It's time of the year again and for some of us tamales have become a holiday tradition and today we invited Tori Franco and chefs from the Mex Authentic restaurant in downtown Santa Barbara. They're going to show us how to properly prepare and wrap tamales. Tony is out there on the patio. Tony. Good morning. Yes, Gabe and Tori Franco from the Mex Authentic Restaurant in uh, downtown Santa Barbara off State Street, right? Yeah. I know for uh, my wife's family, tamales is a annual, it's a, it's a tradition for Christmas. Absolutely. Is it for you too, would you say? Oh yeah, definitely. Has yeah. been for as long as I can remember. Yeah. That's why we have you here this morning because Christmas is just around the corner and we are going to start making and learning how to right. roll some tamales. We're going to do a demonstration here and Meredith is going to help out. Meredith and Diana, all right, help on out. <laughs> Pick a really nice corn husk. Grab a spoon. Now, do you have to dry these beforehand or what's, what's the deal with the corn we husk? actually soak them overnight. Oh, you soak them, yeah, the opposite. Soak them, soak them overnight to get them nice and pliable. And um, by the next morning, they'll be ready. Dry them off a little because you want the masa to stick really well. Okay, good to know. Mm -hmm. So you have your masa, everyone take a big scoop. Diana now describe, can you describe what masa is for us? Masa is a ground corn that they grind and grind and grind and if you're old time in a mocajete <laughs> and uh, then it's a little bit of whipped lard and you mix them together until you get a nut to a little ball, put it in a glass of water and if it floats, it's ready. Okay, so that consistency is crucial there. It is. Okay. Good masa is everything. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put it a little and then we're just going to nice spread it as evenly as possible. Now you two are pros, but uh, Meredith, I think this is one of your first times possibly yeah, doing this. Good. She's pretty good, right? Great job, yeah. Right. In her hand, that's how, that's how uh, my mom and my aunts and grandma, grandma does it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Oh, in the hand? Oh yeah, it's in, in the hand. Oh. They do the prayer, they fold in their hand everything, so. Uh, because masa does expand when it cooks, so you don't want it bursting out of your tamale. So there's different methods in getting that masa on there. Every lady or gentleman has their own method of making a tamale. So um, it's kind of personal. Yeah. And there's always a competition who makes the best tamales. And it looks like you're doing it on the bottom half. They're not going all the way around the whole no, the corn. I always leave a little lip so that you can do a good folding. Okay. Then we're going to take our filling. And, and what do we have here? This is uh, pork verde. So it's like a tomatillo green sauce and nice pork, under pork. Nice. And we're going to put a little bit of filling. I, this is how I do it. Now, maybe not specific to everybody else. And then we'll let these ladies get there. <laughs> so I'm assuming filling is different too, depending on how you much you want in there. Anything. I mean, we like to be a little more traditional at the Mex Authentic, so we use a pork filling or sometimes a chicken or pica de yo. But a lot, you can put anything in a tamale these days. But you don't want to overstuff it because then you won't yeah. be able to fold it, right? <laughs> Correct. You just have to use the right amount of filling. Okay. And she likes to spread hers out and I do it like this. <laughs> different ways, right. different ways. Every lady's different. Okay. Then what we're going to do is I like to do it like a little taco, just kind of like that, and then I pull back a little, like that, to make a nice shape. Meredith, you might want to put it down for that one. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing that handheld. So fold it over, just like that, and pull it back, and then roll it, and then I do a little pinch here to kind of close the bottom of the tamale. Okay. And then you fold it under, and a lot of people do little ties or what have you, but it's really not necessary. Okay. The next step is you go over to a steamer. Everybody has one of these at home. It's like this. And you have like a moist towel for steaming. And here we have a bunch of raw tamales. And Tori, we just have about 30 seconds left, so. Well, we have <laughs> these beautiful already made tamales. And you would just unroll one. There it is, the final product. There it is. Thank you so much. Look at that. Okay. And they're putting on the toppings there. That's it, folks. That's we run out of time. There is the way to make a tamale. Thank you so much. The Mex Authentic in Santa Barbara. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.